Bismillah. Hello, welcome back. This class we shall see a complicated assembly language program for password verification. That is, we will our assembly language program will check for a password, and if the password is correct, it will display that the password is verified. If any one character is uh, not correct, then it will say invalid password. Let us see what are the steps we follow. The first step is we shall display a message, enter password. In order to display this message, <clears throat> there are three conditions. One, DX should point to this text. EH should be 9, interrupt should be 21. Step number two, let us initialize the password. I have taken the password is equal to. Then the count is equal to 6 because the number of characters are equal to 6. We have to get 6 characters and we have to check. In order to read a character, the service number is 8 with interrupt 21. This will read a character without echo and it will place it in AL register. We will compare the character which is in AL with the first character of the password. If both are not equal, then we will say that it is an invalid password. If all the six characters are equal, then we will say that the password is verified. So these are the simple steps we will follow to write a program. I have taken a notepad. I write a comment. So this one is uh, the password verification using assembly language 8086. We are using either the DAS and the BIOS routine basic input output system uh, routines we will use it right the first directive is model small because we have only one segment for data one segment for code one segment for stack then the stack 256 memory locations i have allocated uh, uh, 100h then the data right the first i have to display a message therefore i call this one equal to message and define by so the message is, uh, I say, enter password, please. Okay. Now the string which I want to display in assembly language, it is to be terminated by the dollar sign. All right. Then my password, I will set the password as the variable defined by it. And the password, I want to keep my name, Fahim. Right, then the count, since I am using in CX register, I will take this one equal to define word. The number of characters are 6, so therefore this is 6 in decimal. If the password is correct, then I will display that uh, password verified. Therefore, password uh, verified, verified and correct. Okay, this is terminated by the dollar sign. If the password is not correct, then I will say define by invalid password. Invalid the password terminated by dollar sign. Right. These are the variables I have defined in my data segment. Then my code segment begins, sun label begins, and move in AX register, the starting address of data. Move in data segment AX register. Alright. Now we we'll move in CX register count, therefore my CX register is equal to 6 length of the character. Now I will point this one, the first character I will point to, uh, the password character I will point to some register, right, BX register is free, therefore move in BX, I will get the address of from where the password is stored, therefore password. Therefore, here what happens is BX, the register BX points to the password. All right. So this is uh, the comment. Then next, what we want? We want first we have to read it. We have to display the message. Therefore, this displays the message. In order to display the message, as I said, there are three methods. The first step is DX should point what message you want to display. Therefore, offset of the message and uh, the service number should be equal to 9 and interrupt equal to 21H. So these three lines displays the message enter password please. Now we have to read a character. Therefore the next step in order to read a character 
in EIL register without a code. These steps are first the service number is E8. So this is the service number and the enter 21H. So this reads a character in EIL register without a code. That is the character what we are pressing will not be displayed. Right now the character is in EIL. Now we have to compare this EIL character with the content of the memory location BX. Now BX is pointing to the first character F. Therefore, if the character what I pressed is X and the first character is F, both the characters are not equal. Therefore, here if I say jump on not equal, that means the, it is not equal. Therefore, I go to error. So in error, what I have to display, the, it is an invalid password. Therefore, move in DX, the offset of uh, not correct. And the second one is move EH, 09H and enter 21H. Right. This will display me that the first character itself is not equal. Therefore, it will display error. Right. If the first character is equal, then I have to increment the BX register so that it is it is ready to point to the next character. And then I repeat again loop to again so that it will read another character. Therefore, this is the again. Therefore, the second character is read. And now the second character and the second character and the password are compared. Again, if they are not equal, then again it displays it is invalid password. If they are equal, it is pointing to the third character. And now again loop again. Therefore, again it reads the third character without echo and all the characters are checked. If all the characters are equal, then we have to display that it is a valid password. Therefore, here I have to say move offset of the correct. That means uh, it is a password verified and correct. Now move a has come as 09 and then enter 21H. Right. After displaying the password is correct, it should not display invalid password. Therefore, I make an unconditional jump to something say over. And in the over, we have to finish this one. Therefore, move a has come of 4CH, which is the service number, and enter 21H and end. And the label what I used was begin. So, this I save it. I save this one equal to password.asm. Uh, All right. Now, let us compile it. So, I go to the C prompt. I go to from where my assembler is there. Now, I use TASM password. Right. Now, fortunately, there are no errors. Next, I have to link the program. Therefore, link. I give the object file name password. All right. Now, let us run the program. So, now exe is created. Now, if I say password, now it see that the first message is displayed. Now, if I type the character F, it is waiting for the second character. I press the A. That is also correct. H is also correct. E, next character next character is E, last character is M. Now since all the characters are matching, it says that password verified and correct. Now again let us run the program and I suppose if the first character instead of F, if I press A, see that the first character itself does not match, therefore it displays that uh, it is an invalid password. Let us run again and now I give the first character F, then A, then H, then E, then E instead of last character M if I type something D then also it displays that it is an invalid character. So this is a simple routine where we have uh, the message to display to get the password and here this we are reading a character without echo. We are comparing each character with the actual password character. If any one character does not match, if they are not equal, we display that it is invalid password. If all the six characters are read and if all the characters are equal, we display that it is a valid password and we come outside. Right, so this one is a, if you understand the logic, even though this uses the DOS and BIOS routines, this is a simple program for checking the password. Here we have tested for both the valid password also and for invalid password also. Right, hope this program would help you in better understanding for the assembly language. 
with this we shall finish it up and please uh, do subscribe my channel and give some feedback so that i can improve thank you so much